Hey guys, so here on Saturday afternoon, working on the short box a little bit. What we are doing today, I'm not a hundred, oh, I got a couple things to do. Uh, well, I got lots of stuff to do, but um, I'm probably gonna start putting some of the exterior stuff on, I think. Um, the wheels and tires showed up, so I brought them over to get them mounted, because I don't have my tire machine and balancer um, set up. So I brought them to a guy's, guys local to us here, um, Chetland Auto. We are going to clean this bumper up. So it's not in that bad of shape, but see, it is a little bit on the crusty side. So I want to clean that all up. The paint that I wanted to use for fixing this, apparently I can't get. So we are just going to use some of this garbage. Not this bad paint, just not the paint that I wanted to use. Not, it does work, it's just... Like I said, not the stuff I wanted to use, but we're gonna. This is what we're going to use. I just got gloss black. I don't. I usually buy just semi gloss, but I wasn't sure if we were maybe gonna do some stuff that you could actually see. The only thing that I found with this stuff, and it does say this in the instructions, it cannot see UV. If it sees UV, it does not work. It's complete garbage if it's, if the sun can see it. So, just so if you guys are using that, make sure you don't use this if the UV can hit it. Cause I actually painted my trailer with it and it was a waste of money because all the paint came off like in six months. So, but this you won't be able to see or the sun can't see it. So we're gonna get it protected. What I need to do is pull these brackets off. I did order new ones of these. They're over at my buddy's place or will be at my buddy's place. He's gonna bring them up for me. I think I might actually order another set. Um, but anyways, that's beside the point because I wanna put another one of these things together eventually. Um, so I need to get these off. We're gonna get this thing cleaned up. I think I don't know if I'm just gonna hit it with a wire wheel or what I'm gonna do just yet. Um, we'll see what we get into. And I have to pull this off and straighten it. So we'll probably do that as well. Maybe I'll pull this off, sandblast it and paint it just because it'll be off, right? So let's get after it. Rolling up Uber black Cadillac High heel boots and a sexy body full of tats Baby's bad, oh baby's hella bad After her there ain't no coming back Wanna take a run at that I think she's feeling me Turn it up a few degrees My imagination of her body gets the best of me Oh god she's such a tease Bitten lips, bruised knees I'm addicted to her, need her touching me Cause she got a bad little waist And we tearing down this place Off the liquor that we chase Got some need us to the face Baby I don't need no space Coming closer for a taste And I'll show you how I make everything Thing just fade away cause she's like sex, drugs, cocaine, body so insane Jealous of the clothing that she wears up on that tight frame All game, no shame, baby came here to play I feel like an addict cause she's sex, drugs, cocaine She could get you high, all the dopamine inside Triggers fast once she's naked, her body's a creation They say the devil made her for his entertainment But even he couldn't learn how to contain it Her high heels Alright guys, so we got the bumper all cleaned up Best, well, it'll be more than good enough for using the POR15 Because it's designed to keep rust from coming out But we got all cleaned up, I ended up just taking the brackets off Cause there is actually some adjustments in them and I think I'll have to move them. So I'm just gonna throw these in the cabinet and blast them and then I'll paint them. I might have them powder coated maybe. I'm just not 100% sure. I might have them powder coated, but they're all cleaned up. And the biggest reason I really wanted to clean this bumper was because of this surface rust. It is pitted actually pretty good. But like I said, that's the reason that I wanted to use a good rust paint on it uh, was to make sure that we combat this so that we don't have a problem with that. So I'm gonna get, um, this side painted i'm just using a brush i'm gonna get this side painted um and then i'll flip it over 
do the other side and then I'll probably touch up this side after because obviously wherever I roll it over um, and it touches here it'll probably pull the paint off so I might not even actually paint that edge just to start with maybe or like a section of it maybe I don't know anyways that's what I'm going to do now throw it back into time lapse and uh, we'll get her done Hey kid, don't ever let them get inside your head They'll tell you what to do in life instead Of everything you know that you could get Don't let them guide your life towards regret I'll fight for what I love with every breath My past is filled with- The uh, bumper internal core support, I guess you would call it. I guess it's bumper support. Bumper, yeah, bumper support. We got it all painted, looks pretty good, cleaned up nice. So now all we gotta do is let it dry. So obviously I'm gonna do something else. I'm not gonna wait for it to dry but put it on. But I'm gonna pull, I'm gonna, I gotta do something with these brackets. So I'm gonna blast these brackets up probably, uh, I don't know if I'll do it today or, cause I, have, I don't know if I'm gonna powder coat them or not. I might powder coat them cause I have some other stuff I wanna powder coat, but I do wanna put the bumper on. So I'll probably just paint them. I wanna put the bumper on. So anyways, um, we got a lot all painted, get those brackets all painted up. But I'll probably do that on Monday because I won't be working on this Monday anyway. But something I do need to do is make up the brackets. So the original brackets that were on this frame, somebody had welded the, a bumper on it. So we're going to have to fix that. But I think I'm just going to cut a couple pieces of flat bar. We'll weld it on and drill the holes in the right spot because then I can make it adjustable the way that I want. Uh, but the rest of the day, I think... We got a little bit more time. It's five o'clock now. We got a little bit more time. I think I'm going to do some wire loom um, because I still got a little bit of wiring that I haven't got finished yet so that we can start putting the wiring in this next week. Um, next week, I told the, the glass guys to hold off. That's why there's no windshield in it yet. Um, so I'll probably get the windshield installed th this coming week so that we can get working at this thing. There is some changes going to happen that are going to happen to this truck. Um, I just don't think that they're going to happen this year um so the truck i'm gonna make the truck run and drive this year but i don't know whether it'll be driving on the road or not so i'm not just 100 sure what we're gonna do anyways i do have some changes coming up i will talk about more about that later all right um i'll get into doing some wire loom and uh we'll finish off the rest of this video for this thing so i would imagine this week we'll be putting all the wiring harnesses in and all that stuff i gotta pull some of the piping and stuff out so we can weld it um but basically we're gonna be doing a bunch of stuff on this this week so stay tuned for that this one was in a super exciting video but it was all stuff that needed to get done so it's just one of those things right um, and like i said we will be doing a few things on this thing uh, i want to clean up some hoses and stuff like i want to redo these hoses so i can get them away from that downpipe. i have to hook up my external wastegate because that's not plumbed yet. Pretty sure it's a good idea to do that because I'm going to want to I'm going I'm going to want to hit some juice on it. So, and then I want to replace this line because it's too long, but that was the line that I had when I put it together. So, you know how that is. And then do some wiring and stuff like I was talking before. So, all right. So, like, subscribe, hit me down in the comments, and remember, it's not rocket science. <laughs>